I'll warmly welcome on SR TV Lab. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a warm welcome once again on SR TV Lab. Today I would like us to see two bones that we find within the leg. These are called tibia and fibula. We are going to see their parts and the joint between the two bones. Let's start with the anterior view of tibia. You remember this is tibia. Let's start from the proximal part. When we start from the proximal part, do you see this prominence? It's called tibial tuberosity. This is the attachment for patella ligament. The ligament that go through patella to here. This is tibial tuberosity. Good. When you come here laterally, lateral part it is this part that are the side at the side of fibula. This is lateral condyle. When you go medially, this is medial condyle. But as you can see here, this is the knee joint. The joint between tibia and femur. This is the knee joint. Okay, good. This is lateral condyle. This is medial condyle. Good. This part, this one that is on top of the lateral condyle, it's called articular surface of lateral condyle. This is the part that I decorate with femur. Then we go medially. This is another groove like this is the articular surface of medial condyle. Do you get me? Articular surface of lateral condyle, articular surface of medial condyle. This is intercondylar eminence. This prominent part between the two articular surfaces is called intercondylar, which means between condyle eminence, intercondylar eminence. This is the articular surface of tibia. Good, let's continue downward. You remember, we have seen the proximal part. Then when we go down, here there is a line like, this is tibial crest or anterior tibial line. This is the anterior crest or anterior line of tibia. And all of this from the proximal to distal, this is called the shaft, the shaft of tibia. Let's go now to the distal part. When we go to the distal part, this is called medial malleolus. Medial malleolus. You get me, this is medial malleolus of the tibia. Of course, there is no other medial malleolus of another bone. This is the medial malleolus. It is part of tibia. Good, let's shift, go to the lateral part, which is this bone. Remember, it is called fibula. This distal end of fibula is called lateral malleolus. Remember, on tibia, it is medial malleolus. Here, it is lateral malleolus. When you move up, this is the shaft of fibula. And this is the head of fibula. This theory, it is the lateral malleolus. Proximally, it is the head of fibula. Then let's see this joint between fibula and tibia. It is called proximal tibiofibular joints. Proximal tibiofibular joint. Then when you move this tree, this is the distal tibiofibular joints. These are the joint between the two bones between tibia and fibula. Now this is the posterior view of tibia and fibula. The most important part to see here, it is this line, this line on tibia. It is called 
proprietorial proprietorial line you remember anteriorly we got what called anterior crest or anterior line of tibia so this is the proprietorial line good there is no other thing special as you can see these are the other articular surface we have mentioned anteriorly the lateral I mean the articular surface of lateral condyle, the articular surface of medial condyle. Good. But when we go distally again on tibia, this is the articular surface of medial malleolus. Just here. This is the articular surface of medial malleolus. That articulate with atlas. One of the tassel bones good so in summary those are the part of tibia and fibula those are the bones that we find within the leg so guys thank you very much so guys thank you for watching the video i hope it's very helpful so please don't keep this information just with yourself. Share this information to your colleagues and see you in another video next time. May God bless you abundantly. Please support this channel by pressing like, subscribe and the bell. This is a huge support for this channel. May God bless you.